Welcome to Squid Vids. My name is Robert and today on my 2021 Aprilia RS660 I'm installing an UpMap ECU flashing device. What's really cool about this if you haven't seen one before is that everything is controlled through your phone. So the instructions are on your phone, the map options are on your phone, and when I say options I mean there are several options to choose from. So whether you have a full exhaust, whether you have a full exhaust with velocity stacks, whether you don't have any exhaust and you just want to run uh, reverse shift or GP shift, uh, they have maps built in for all of those things. And if I understand correctly, I think you could even get a custom map built for you, which is another really cool option. I'm going to be satisfied just running the stock uh, maps that are designed for this SC project exhaust. That'll be good enough for what I intend to use it for. Before I get started on that, I have to give a huge shout out to my guys over at Motobox USA. They're the ones who sent me the UpMap device, as well as the killer mirror block offs on the front of the bike. In addition to the mirror block offs, they also have uh, steering damper mounts, they have fender eliminator kits, and they have a bunch of cool stuff on their website, so go check them out. I do have to give you guys a disclaimer, the UpMap may or may not void the vehicle warranty. It's been really hard to get a direct answer from anybody. From what I understand on good authority that using anything other than the Aprilia Race ECU will void the vehicle warranty. If that's something you're concerned about. The safer route is just to run the Aprilia Race ECU if you're going to modify your exhaust or do anything like that. The moment I line up on a race grid, my vehicle warranty is pretty much void anyway. So it didn't really matter which direction I went with this. I kind of gave it some time and I let other people test this out before I decided I wanted to pull the trigger on it. I wanted to see if they had any issues. I wanted to get their feedback. And so far it looks really good. It seems like the people who are tuning these things over at Aprilia Special Parts are doing a really good job and they're paying very close attention to make sure that your bike doesn't blow up and you get maximum performance out of the bike. As strange as it sounds, I'm actually more concerned about optimized fueling than I am optimizing the horsepower out of the bike. The reason why is because these bikes from the factory are tuned very lean in order to pass the Euro 5 emissions. So with adequate fueling, usually, hopefully, it equates to a longer engine life, which is honestly what I'm most concerned about. Now that I've gotten all that out of the way, let's get into it. So I guess the first step is to remove your seat, and the process is going to be obviously different for you if you still have your OEM fairings on. But because I have aftermarket fairings, it should be very quick. That's the whole point of these aftermarket fairings. They designed them to be really quick to be removed and put back on. Because when you're at the racetrack, you need to do this stuff in a hurry and you don't have time to go through the hundreds of fasteners that are on OEM. So bam, that's it. When you get your up map, the box is gonna come with a QR code that you're gonna scan and it'll take you directly to the app store where you can download the app for this, which is why this system seems like it's so convenient is because everything is done through the app on your phone. With your up map, you should have got an OBD Euro 5 cable, and this is what you're gonna to connect uh, to your bike and also connect it to the up maps unit. By the way, when you get the up map, this is what you get in the box. This little hockey puck looking thing, that's literally it. There's no instruction because everything that you need, all the instructions, and all the maps are gonna be on the app. All right, so let's go ahead and try to plug everything in and see what happens. So from what I understand, this would be where you would plug it in. Okay, Euro 5 cable connected. Connect the upmap unit. Pretty sure that green light means it's uh, good, it's working. So now we'll go to the app and see what happens. There's five icons on the display. So there's one in the center that's flashing red. So I'm gonna select that one. Enter in devices section and configure your up map device on a motorcycle. Log into the store and choose your map. Okay. After you log in, you got to accept the terms and conditions and there's going to be some more instructions making sure that your up map in and the cable are connected that you have an active internet connection and that the bluetooth is on also that the bike is in the run position from there you'll choose the brand of your bike and then you'll select the model of your bike so 
So after that, you're going to be directed to the found device screen. You're going to select on the T800 and then press configure. Okay, so the light turned blue, which tells me it's connected to the app. And right now it's updating the firmware. So the firmware is updating and this green light right here is flashing between green and kind of a yellowish color. So I guess that means it's updating. So now it went into a different mode and it says detecting vehicle model. And that's done. RS660 US. And then there's the GP shift option, which I am going to do. So I'm going to select the US GP shift. I'm going to make sure that that's the one before I configure it. Appears to be the one. So let's configure it. Confirm. Okay, I guess that's it. End configuration. Now log into the store and choose the map. All right, so what I'm gonna do is select the shopping cart because I'm assuming that's the one where the maps are loaded. I guess with this, you have the option to select different maps. Uh, they're available for purchase, but according to this, it says, thanks to your new up map device, the first calibration is free. Use the discount code shown in the map description. So I guess I gotta figure out which map I'm going to run. All right, so I've scrolled through here and it is a little bit confusing as to which one to select because the one that I think I need doesn't look like any of the others. Everything else has a photo of the RS660 and it gives uh, in, in uh, red letters, it'll kind of tell you what it is like stock bike, for example, with uh, velocity stacks, stock bike. And then this is the one I think I need, but it's got a picture of a RSV4, which is weird. It's um, the map for a full SC project without the decibel killer. So I'm gonna take a look at that one and I'll read the description. It says best performance for Aprilia RS660 model year uh, 2020 to 2021 with up map, GRT, Gabbro Racing, whatever uh, tuning, I think. Map for stock engine and full exhaust SC project. That's what I have. Race map tuned for maximum performance and crisp throttle response with the SC Project full race exhaust with no DB killer fitted. Um, additional specifications, the EU engine calibration, direct indicators, uh, direction indicators in the headlight, ECU automatically detect the gearbox is fitted standard, uh, first gear down or GP. And it's possible to remove from the motorcycle with no dash error, the homologation features like Lambda probes, the pair system, fuel canister, and tail lights. Okay, so after much deliberation, I think I'm gonna select the ADSC race, no DBK. That's the closest description to what I have. It's a little confusing only because it has a picture of an RSV4 on there, but in the description it matches what I have, which is the full SC project. And then I guess you shift you uh, switch the shift knuckle and that will uh, allow you to do GP shift. So we'll select that and see what happens. I think I have to add it to my cart. Proceed to checkout. This should be free. All right, so we're gonna go to checkout. I'm gonna type in GRT map. I believe that's the code for the first free map that everybody gets. And there we go. Total is zero dollars. Zero euros, fancy. So you'll go to the helmet, select that. You'll click maps, and then you'll select your map, I'm assuming. Would you like to remap your control unit with the new map? Yup. Make sure you have device connected, internet connection, Bluetooth on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Okay, it's telling me the configuration is done, so I need to shut down the vehicle dashboard and press OK to continue. So let's do that. OK, 
Okay, now it's telling me to turn it back on. And press OK to continue. Okay, it's saying here that the procedure completed successfully. So we'll go to end. And I think that's it. Let's see. Let's fire it up and see if it's good to go now. Okay, that worked like normal. I think this is telling me ABS is disabled. Uh, I don't know what that means, and I don't know what that means. So what's cool about this is that once you're done, you can actually disconnect the unit. And it doesn't have to stay on there, so you can put it away. And I think you're good to go. As you could see, it wasn't that complicated to install. It took me about 15 to 20 minutes, most of which was just figuring out which map I'm supposed to be running. Hopefully I could spare you guys some of that confusion. And if I did, please make sure to at least brush up lightly against that like button. And if there's anything else, any questions that you have or anything else that you wanna see in the future, please make sure to comment below. Thank you.